basic tackle setup uh, for kite fishing. Some people use a little heavier line. The heavier line you go, the more difficult it is to keep the bait in the water because of the belly and the line. So the main thing you want to do is try to use 20 pounder. I know some people that use less, 14, 17 pound test. Um, it's, it's a lot stronger than you think. Uh, I've caught a lot of big fish on 20 pound main line and anything more than anything more than 25 pound test, the belly is so hard to keep in the water. You have to put a lot of lead on your rig. Um, so I stick with 20 pound and I never have an issue and it works great. Um, the basic rig here, so what we do, we fish a, we fish a float lot like that so you can see where your bait's at. So you just look for your marker when the bait's hanging from the clip out kite fishing. We use these rings to clip it in the clips. They make ceramic rings also. I've been using these stainless rigs for, rings for about eight years now. When they first started coming out, they're great. They don't break at all. Um, I prefer those, but the ceramic rings are about the same price and some people like those better, just personal preference. Um, depending on the wind speed, um, you could fish anywhere from no lead to up to an ounce and a half, two ounces I've seen when it's really, really windy in you know, so certain situations. Um, on an average day, I fish anywhere from a half to one ounce on my longs. Generally need more lead on your long baits than you do on your short baits um, because it's just more belly in the line, it's further out and it has more of a difficulty staying in the water. So you go from a bimini twist, slide the ring on, slide the float on, the lead, and then go to a snap swivel. Um, you're only fishing 20 pound main line and your main leader is only 40 pound test. So you're only gonna pull so hard before something's gonna give. So a lot of people put too big of a tackle, too big of a swivel. Um, you only need to fish a 50 pound snap swivel in my eyes. Uh, just a lot less tackle in the water, a lot more finesse, and it looks good. And then what we fish here is tournament regulations. You're not allowed anything more than a 15-foot leader, so we always fish approximately a 15-foot leader. Um, on, on an average day, I fish 40 pound. Um, a lot of times when we're fishing tournaments and stuff like that, we'll go down to 30 pound test if it's real calm and clear and the fish are finicky. But I would say for the average person, I would say 40 pound test is your best bet. 15 foot a liter and you go circle hook. Generally on circle hooks, we snell like that. Their hook size has everything to do with your bait size. The bigger the bait, the bigger the hook. On everything smaller baits, I usually fish 5.0 hooks. On the bigger baits, I'll fish a 6.0 hook. Feel like we spend more time catching bait. With nice bait, you're gonna have good fishing. Bait fishing is a full-time job almost in itself. Unfortunately, with the goggle eyes, they're nocturnal. A lot of people purchase the goggle eyes because you have to go out there in the middle of the night. Um, I catch them myself, go out there two, three in the morning and fish till the sun comes up. And uh, they'll be biting really good and the minute the sun comes up, it's like somebody flips a switch and they're gone. Moon phase is everything that to do with goggle eye fishing. They do not like light, they don't like sunlight, they don't like moonlight. Uh, the darker the moon is best, and right, right before the moon rise uh, is great. So if you find an evening where the moon is rising around 10 a.m., you can go from dark to, I mean, 10 p.m., go from sun, uh, sunset to 10 p.m., they'll bite that period. The minute this moon comes up, the, the fishing, just they just stop. So it's just part of it. If you figure out goggle eye fishing, you're, you're, that's half the game right there, is just figuring out how to catch bait.